So it's definitely not a secret on this channel that I enjoy a good cocktail. And it's funny because in LA, whenever we wanted to go out, have a great drink, something really good to eat, we had a Rolodex of places that we could go. But traveling, it's a little bit different because it's kind of like you're taking a risk every single time. However, Dustin and I are doing the legwork for you. We found an amazing place to go out, have great cocktails, good food, awesome ambience. I guess you want to know the name of the place, right? It's called Gen 47. It's a rooftop. It's awesome. You have to go. Okay, guys, in order to get to this rooftop bar, you have to apparently walk through a carport. Apparently, watch your step, my love. Ah, gracias, gracias. dropped off the guacamole which is intriguing because it's beautiful well plated I have no idea what that red stuff is on there it almost looks like uh, like minced cranberry I've never had stuff with red sauce so here goes nothing Wow I still don't know what that is but it's smoky it's like herbal it almost has a taste of like smoked beef but it's not smoked beef. I think this actually might be some kind of like a fruit because it also has like a sweet undernote. Delicioso, guys. Banger. I literally love how this is like an air blown glass. I mean like texture looks so crazy. Aromatics, all the good stuff. Here goes something right here. Let me see. <laughs> guys, we are in for a long ride a long long night like this is ridiculously good but it kicks and if you've seen in the b-roll oh i'm sorry hit me in the back of the throat if you've seen in the b-roll he put like 10 liquors up in here no lie phenomenal though gin 47 guys it smells super tropical this doesn't kick like yours kicks it's so good though it's super tropical huh it makes me feel like this might be dangerous. That might be dangerous. Yeah, it's you, good. <laughs> As you can see, we literally spared no time putting in the work on this guac. We still don't know what this is, but at a certain point it doesn't even matter anymore because it's delicious. And like, bro, you gotta get the you gotta get the pros or the cons. I'm gonna go ahead and put that radish on top because Veronica doesn't like those. And like, yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh.
getting pasta in Medida. Only reason why is because we're in the Yucatan, but it's Yucatanian pasta, which we've never had. So here it goes. If you know how to eat pasta, man, you know you gotta catch it. This fork just like mops up some of that, uh, some of that sauce, which is hella cheesy. Ooh, it's hot too. Here's for you, citizens. Mm. Mm. Perfectly cheesy. I've never had chicken seasoned like that. Juicy, marinated. The cheese is there. This is a great pasta. This would be great pasta in any city in the world. This is phenomenal pasta. Look at baby lips right now. She is doing the mop-up procedure. Look at that. Look at the first bite. That is rich. That's very rich. <laughs> that would be a hit. Like, doesn't that anywhere? That's super rich in the best way. Right. Wow. I think it's gone. That was delicioso. Now we're gonna go with a completely different drink. It's a huge drink that they serve in like a shelled out coconut and it's like all type of like fruits and like mixed alcohol beverages in there and you literally have to hold it like a bowl and drink it like out of the coconut like the, the Mayans and the Aztecs would have done back in the day. Who am I to not honor the culture? Let's go. Mayans jeans. Wow. wow. Yes. Gracias. And y'all thought it was a game. Look at this. Look at this. Imagine me in a cenote with a bunch of Mayans a thousand years ago, just passing this around. Oh man. Oh, that's so smooth. Like, it's like gin, it's like mezcal in here. It's like grapefruit, uh, mint, lemon, limon. Oh my gosh. And once again, you gotta drink it to watch the lips. Pay attention to the lips. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, baby lips with the flex. She got it. Uh oh, and she smells it. She does, and now she's hitting us with the Mayan sip. Look at that. Right? Drink it from the cup of the Aztecs, my love. Yeah, boy. This tastes so super fresh. Right? Super fresh. Super fresh. It's almost like a spa. It is like a spa. But a drink. Yep. It's delicious. Welcome to the Yucatan. Ah, uh, gracias. Son los tostones de atún. Gracias. This is a tostada of tuna, but I don't remember what this is actually made of. It's not like a tortilla. Right. <laughs> There's guacamole in here too. Inside of it? Yeah. Wow. Talking about cooking and layers and flavoring, my goodness. That's really good. So they just dropped the tacos de camarón, which are these bad boys right here, okay? And when I tell you, it is a thing of beauty. Purples, the oranges, the browns, the blue corn tortillas. Oh, it smells like just perfectly fried, fried shrimp. Here goes nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna zoom it out. That is the next level. The purple shredded cabbage. There's like a sriracha sauce on here. And the, the shrimp is perfectly fried. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Labios. De bebe. Uh oh, look at her. Look at her, look at that robot. Look at that robot. That's why I fell in love with her, guys. 
because nobody can do the robot like labios just got done eating and drinking mostly drinking at gin 47 uh we are here and this like little car park garage uh we're waiting on the inside not the outside because it's curfew and we don't want the federales rolling up on us baby lips is wasted uh hashtag drunken nights in merida i can't even knock her because i'm drunk too guys y'all y'all pray for y'all boy man it's hard out here in these streets those drinks were potent look look how her look how her stuff blows in the wind look at labios honey yes. what time is it let's see it is 10 08 10 08 what time is the curfew here 10 o'clock 10 o'clock are we gonna be okay I don't see any lights coming, so... Gotcha. So because you don't see any lights, and nobody's hopping out chasing you, you think you're good? I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta travel the world with this one. There are worse travel partners. Who? <laughs> you take the toll. Una minuto más. That's him? Yeah. All right. to me and you to write our story wanna shape the new 